Well, it is the end of an era for the greatest show on earth, as it's called. The big top curtain comes down tonight on the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. It's a night filled with mixed emotions at the Nassau Coliseum. That's where we find TV 1055's Aaron Logan live with the story. Aaron. Jessica, it is hard to believe in the last 50 years alone, more than a quarter of a billion people have seen this show, and it has been going on for over 146 years. Very hard to believe that tonight is the last one. That's why many families taking advantage of this opportunity. For the very last time. Those words spoken to crowds just short of a century and a half. It was like sad. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to miss it. And now it is officially over. Sad news for a lot of people as they lined up for the final Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus at the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum. When I was little, I remember the show, so that's why it's special to me. So I want to see the last one. And Mary Petrich wants her sons to experience it. What are you expecting? Uh, clowns and animals to do tricks. And he certainly got to see that. So did five year old Liz Garcia. It was really cool. Have you ever been to one before? Adults who've seen the show many times at all different ages feel performers saved the best show for last. This was very modern, a lot of very high tech. You enjoyed it? I enjoyed it. Earlier this year, circus owners announced the show can no longer go on. There was a noticeable decline in ticket sales when the show's Asian elephants were pulled last May. Animal rights activists outside the Coliseum say they've been trying to get the entire show pulled for years. And for that reason, they feel a sense of accomplishment, but they are still on a mission. There are many other animal circuses as well, still touring in the United States. And we're coming for all of them if they don't evolve and go animal free. Back inside, a much different vibe as the crowd takes it all in up until the very last second. And Jessica, overall, just a really exciting night. The adults specifically, you could see them smiling from ear to ear. A lot of people sounding off on social media, telling me that I should save this final farewell media pass and uh, maybe go inside and buy a souvenir because someday they will be quite valuable. We're live outside the Nassau Coliseum. Aaron Logan, TV 1055. I think you should take that advice. I see an eBay listing in your future. Absolutely. Thank you, Aaron. Absolutely.